And we're going to get on to what's happening today. Shante Passmore is live this morning from Commerce Township. Yeah, she's live from Glenmore Trails today, a beautiful walking trail with themed nightly activities for guests of all ages. Hey, Shante, what's, it looks very dark where you're at. Hey, good morning, Victor and Priya. Right now, this morning, we are live from the Twisted Tunnel. I don't know if you can make out the lights there. Good morning. And joining me is Chanel from Glenlore Trails. Thanks for, thanks for getting up early for us. We appreciate it. So this is nearly a mile long. People can experience this mystical forest. Yep, that's right. One mile long trail. Yeah, so what can people expect this year? So this year, our theme is Enchanted. We're super excited about it. It's a mythical, you know, enchanted forest full of lots of luminous lights, fun activations. Different theme came about from a group of super talented people. You know, we sit there and brainstorm, you know, what might be fun this year that we haven't done in the past. And um, so we landed on like this, this magical forest full of fairies and lights. And, yeah, and yeah. it's not too spooky, folks. So if you're not into spooky, <laughs> this is the perfect experience for you and the family and the kiddos and things. The Twisted Tunnel, I really like it. I was telling you earlier, I feel like I'm like in a music video or something. Mm -hmm. I don't sing, I don't dance, but <laughs> this is kind of cool. And so this kind of stretches in, like where exactly does it stretch into and what can people expect when we're in this area? So we're actually towards the end of the trail. Mm. Um, and this has kind of been a staple for us. We continue to improve it every year. Um, but yes, we're at, we're at the end of the trail right now. Oh my goodness gracious. What's like your favorite part of bringing this? Because I know you guys have your regular daytime draws, but you know, during the <laughs> holiday season, starting in around Halloween fall, you guys bring something like this for, for the whole family. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, best part of being here, I think is just bringing family and friends together. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's great for a date night, um, you know, whatever it may be. And it's, it's the holiday season. Mm -hmm. So the fall, you know, it, it's in the air. So, so we're ready and happy to be here. And we have good weather right now. I love yes. that. So, okay. So it's open from Thursday through Sunday evenings, right after dusk, whenever that is, yeah. there is admission. We have information. We should have that on click on Um, but it should be, this is really cool. My first time being out here, I, I love it. Priya, Vic, Victor, have you guys been out here before? I haven't been out here, have you? No, not yet. Shantae, the one thing I like that you mentioned that it kind of looks like, you know, a late 90s, early aughts kind of music video, but what do you mean you don't sing or dance? <laughs> I can see you busting a move there. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks very cool to see her, I think, Shantae. And we're going to get on to what's happening today. Shantae Passmore is live this morning from Commerce Township. Yeah, she's live from Glenlore Trails today. It's a beautiful walking trail with themed nightly activities for guests of all ages. And ooh, this looks this looks kind of dazzling, Shantae. Ooh, <laughs> that's me trying to be spooky. How did I do? It was pretty good, pretty good. You nailed well, it. Well, yes, it is a beautiful... <laughs> It is a beautiful trail, of course, but this is the spooky element. And joining me this morning is Scott from Glenlore Trails. And Scott, this is the ball game, right? This is the the ball game. This is the Glenlore ball game. That's right. <laughs> Ghostly Manor this year. So what's the mm -hmm. concept here? Uh, so this is a giant interactive game that we developed uh, in-house uh, for Glenlore. And oh. it allows uh, kids of all ages to what? throw things at a giant TV. And it's allowed. It's okay. Kids of all ages like myself. Yep. <laughs> and you've got this special magical wand here. What is I do. That? I do. So um, this year we added a new feature to the trail. So we have these magic wands. Mm -hmm. um, they are optional. You don't have to get one. But uh, they activate 40-something different points on the trail. So for this particular game, mm. uh, this activates a special... And on screen. Right on the screen, you'll see. Oh, yep. oh we we'll do it again. It. It'll come back. It's okay. And there it goes. Ooh. And so if uh, one of the guests hits that, it will explode and help them in their uh, fight against these ghouls. Oh, how cool I'll is that? I'll try and get it. <laughs> um, so I, I was talking to your wife ah. earlier, Chanel, and she said on average, sometimes you guys get 2,000 people to come out every night. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, and the further we get in the season, uh, that number that number goes up. So we follow sunset, so we mm. open each night a little bit after sunset. Yeah. And we go until uh, it gets either too cold or people uh, don't want to come out. <laughs> <laughs> well, today, I think the weather is perfect right now. Okay, so what's your favorite thing about bringing this mile-long experience to everyone? Uh, probably Ooh, the creativity. Probably the creativity. Every year, we have to challenge ourselves to do something different, do right. something bigger, do something new, and, of course, keep our fan favorites. So right. this game has been with us for, I think, three or four years, but every year we add something new. There's a boss fight this year. There's the addition of the magic wand. Uh, it was redesigned in a game engine this year, so it's a little bit more 3D and colorful and 
just really oh. cool experience this morning. Oh my gosh. Okay, love it. Okay, so Glenmore Trails here in Commerce Township. It's from Thursday through Sunday after dusk. There are ticket prices. We should have them click on Detroit.com, but a lot of cool, exciting things. I really like this ball game. So if I get up to 100, I can do the boss fight, the boss battle? Oh, yes. Okay, <laughs> okay. See what we're cooking up this morning? Yeah, I like that boss battle. Also, Shantae, you got pretty good aim there. You got this lens right dead on. I know. Yeah, I was like, whoa. Yeah. I impressed myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Shantae. We'll check back in with you in just a bit. Shantae Passmore is live this morning over in Commerce Township. Yeah, she's checking out Glenlore Trails and their new themed trail called Enchanted. Hey, Shantae, I love all What are we looking at? Spider? So that is the mama spider, and you're Ooh. right. We are in the enchanted forest here in Glen Glenlore Trails. And again, Scott, you're joining me this morning. So what's this attraction right here? So this one is called Spider Splat. Oh. And this was a ground projection, interactive ground projection we did a few years ago, and people loved it. The problem was we had it in the center of the trail, and everyone would congregate right in the middle. We couldn't so get around. So now you moved it over here. So show me how this all works. Yeah, come on over. Let's go. So we're going to go in here and uh, on it's the ground. It's a little dark, of course. Uh huh. Yep. No yep. Projection. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna try and Woo. get these spiders. Oh, they run kind of fast. Oh my god. And when we get too many, cardio in this morning. They run back to mama. <laughs> oh, oh. Did we make her mad? Oh, we made her mad. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling you and your wife earlier, I'm scared of spiders, but thank goodness. Then this is not the one for you. Right. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, good thing. Good thing it's they're not real, right? Exactly. So obviously, this is a big attraction. People love coming out here year after year. What do you think it is that people love bringing their kiddos? And Yeah, I think it's a combination of being outside in this magical environment that's just kind of unusual. It's not, it's not normal to see the forest this lit up. And, mm -hmm. and then to add in the story elements and add in the interactivity and just add in this, the, the wonder and, and magic, I think, is, is really exciting for people. Uh, and then our team does everything we can to change it year over year and make it different. Each season is a new theme. Each year is a new theme. Yeah. We just really want to provide value and, and you know, reason for repeat visit. So you were telling me earlier, you guys live in this tension of where you want to up the ante, but of course people have their their fan favorites, right? The ones that they always want to come back and see. Exactly. So we spend a lot of time discussing what we should bring new, what we should keep. Uh, there's certain ones like, like this that, mm -hmm. that just people seem to love kids, especially love oh, this. Yeah. They're stomping on spiders. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah they get love tired. It. I mean, I'm feeling tired right now. <laughs> I thought I got my cardio in for today, for the weekend, really. Okay, <laughs> so of course, Glen, Glen Lord, that's a tongue twister for me this morning. <laughs> Glen Lord Trails, it is open from Thursday through Sunday, right after dusk. Of course, you have to purchase tickets. It's here in Commerce Township. Really fantastic experience so far this morning, guys. Thanks, Shantae. No, you haven't gotten your cardio in yet. You got to run around that trail a couple of times, you know? <laughs> Work up a bit of a sweat this morning. <laughs> it's a mile long, so I, yeah, maybe I can do it. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Shantae. All right, thank you, Brian. And this will be a great weekend if you haven't checked out Glenlore Trails. That's right. It's a turned walk into the woods, so it's an immersive experience that will make you stop right in your tracks. Oh, Our Shantae Passmore is getting a look oh, of the stunning work that they've put in. And what are we looking at here? Oh, That's right. This morning we are live from the Enchanted Forest here in Commerce Township. Oh, where did the music go? Oh, there we go. Here we are. And joining me this morning again is Chanel from Glenlore Trail. So this is the Singing Pumpkins. This is mm -hmm. part of the whole theme this year. Um, you've got some special events throughout your season, your run here. We do. Yep. So we've got a few. We do. We like to do an adult night, you know, to have a little focus on the adults, mm -hmm. get out and have a good time. We also do some kid craft events, uh, you know, some special fun, um, you know, Halloween themed yeah. crafts. So that's coming up as well. Okay. So the theme this year, Enchanted Forest. It's about a mile long, this immersive experience. What else can people experience when they come out this year? I mean, we've got a little bit of everything. Um, lots of interactive technology, lots of, you know, illuminated lights. Um, we have a wonderful team behind all of this from Blue Water Technologies. The amount of talent and planning, it, it really is. So um, we're truly blessed with, with an awesome team to, to put all of this together. It's a small but mighty team. We're yes. talking about that earlier. Okay, so right after this 
Halloween fall run, you guys do something immediately for the holidays. We do. So we take about 10 quick days for a changeover, and then we get ready for Aurora, and Aurora opens on November 15th. Oh my gosh, because this goes through November 3rd. Correct. Um, and I think it's open from Thursday through Sunday, um, after dusk, of course. This is yes. a kind of a nighttime experience. Okay, so we've been kind of hitting, what's been some of your favorite attractions so far this year? I would definitely have to say Bubbles. Uh, we're going to see some of that. Um, but yes, Bubble Alley, Downlight Alley, it's just such a fun space for not only kids, but adults too. You know what I like about the Enchanted Forest theme is it's got like this like mythical element and it's spooky, but not like crazy scary. Yes. Yeah. And that's our, that's our whole intent is we want it to be a fun experience. It's not super spooky. We are not a haunted house Thanks. by any means, but we, <laughs> we've got those fun spooky moments that are meant to be like a little little fright delight. Oh my goodness. Oh, you guys, I was hoping that we play Monster Mash during our, our live hit. Maybe they'll come after we're all done, of course. But yeah, a lot of good stuff here this morning. You know, it's funny you mentioned that because I was like, this soundtrack reminds me of like movies from back in the day. What a great event, right? For kids and families. It's perfect. Thanks, Shante. <laughs> One of the most popular attractions for the Halloween season in Metro Detroit is now open, and there is a lot to take in. Oh, yeah, it sure is. Glenlore Trails lights up the forest with some very impressive displays, and that's where we'll find our Shante Passmore out there with the different experiences that it really has to offer. Bubbles are back. <laughs> The bubbles are here. Oh my gosh, this is probably my favorite thing that we've seen all morning. I mean, you guys have a lot of cool things here. Uh, so obviously, bubbles. We're kind of by the trail entrance, right, Scott? We are by the trail entrance. Okay. Yeah. Yep. This is uh, this year. This is called Fay Fairy Path. Uh -huh. So we have bubbles. We have fog. We have a series of down lights that are mm. really beautiful at night. It's not right now, but yeah, of course. Okay. So this year's theme, Enchanted Forest. Mm -hmm. What's the concept behind it? What can people expect this season? Every year we come up with a new theme. This year was Enchanted. Last year was Carnival. So it's mm. kind of a haunted mm -hmm. uh, carnival. Mm -hmm. This year is all about fairies and fays and mystical beings in the woods. So. Yeah. And you guys said that you get people from all over. Over the nation to be here, right? We've we've had people from New York, from Mississippi, from wow. yeah. I'm, I'm surprised at how far people will drive for entertainment. Now, what I like about this theme is there's the mythical elements. There's some spooky, but it's not like downright frightening and scary. And I t and I think it, I take it that's how you guys had it in mind, right? That's intentional. Yeah. yeah. This is uh, we say this is fun for uh, kids of all ages, mm -hmm. and everything that we create is family friendly. Oh, very very cool. What's been your favorite thing so far for this year? For this year, it was definitely the addition of the magic wands. Oh yeah, yeah that is pretty cool. Another extra layer of just excitement, enchantment, and magic, and uh, just watching people's eyes light up when they when they realize that they're controlling the forest. As well. Very <laughs> very neat. Okay, so again, this is here in Commerce Township. It is from Thursdays through Sunday. It's not open on Halloween, and it starts. The whole fun starts right when the sun goes down. A fantastic opportunity to bring out kids of all ages, like myself. <laughs> yeah, I love that because we're all kids at heart. I love the bubbles. Also, you look so great with the, just the pop of that burnt kind of orange color against the uh -oh. green hues out there. <laughs> Have a blast, Shante. Well, this will be a great weekend if you haven't already checked out Glenlore Trails. Oh, yeah. It's a turned walk in the woods into an immersive experience that'll make you stop right there in your tracks. Now, our Shante Passmore is right there getting a look at the stunning work oh. they've put in. What's this? A birdhouse? That's right. This morning, we are here from an enchanted forest where you're going to see a little action here in the fairy village. And voila. <laughs> And joining me again is Chanel. Okay, so there's so much to see here at Glenlore Trails. The year's, this year's theme, obviously, Enchanted Forest. So where are we exactly and, and what's the concept behind this? So we are closer towards the beginning of the trail. Mm -hmm. This is one of our, I guess, major magic wand moments. Uh, new this year, um, this is our fairy village. Mm -hmm. So this is where you can really truly get an experience of this magic wand, which is brand new this year, very excited about it. Very, very cool. What's been your favorite part about this whole experience for this season? Honestly, this season, it's seeing just the excitement behind these wands, truly. It was new for us. Um, you never really know. You have to always be willing to, to try something new. And, and this was our new piece this year. Um, and it seems to be a big hit. Everyone's been really excited about it. It's I, not required mm. on the trail, but it's like a plus up. Well, even before the wand, you guys were always a big hit. You guys have had people from all over the country visit here. You have about, what, 2,000 people come out every night? 
We do, yes. So uh, very, very grateful for the love and support. I mean, and for that, we want to continue to provide something new and exciting for those who are returning. And then, of course, uh, excitement for people who have never been. Okay, so right after this season, you guys are going to segue into your winter holiday edition, right? Yes, we are. So we have a quick 10-day turnover. Mm. Our team behind all this magic, Blue Water Technologies, uh, they do an amazing job. Uh, they're working super hard to make sure that we're ready for our next piece, which is, uh, you know, the holidays, Christmas. It'll That's be here before right. we know it. That's right. But in the meantime, you can still come out here, of course, to Glenlore Trails. Again, this year's theme is Enchanted Forest, and you can kind of see why it's held from Thursdays through Sundays right after dusk. Tickets are available online. You can go to clickondetroit.com. But guys, so much fun this morning. I can't even tell you which one's been my favorite experience so far. <laughs> well, I got to say, we thought the cutest was with all the bubbles going around because you don't see that often. Also, Shante, local four legend Paula Tutman is watching and has loved your live shots this morning. So kudos to you and Roland just having a great time there on the Enchanted Trail. Paula <laughs> sending some love to you both. There you go. Pretty nifty with that wand, Shante. We'll be right back. She looks like an I know. Actual. They, yeah, they trust me does. with the wand. Yeah. <laughs> you earned it. <laughs> there you go. There I you wish go. you good luck. Oh, oh, I love that. She'd be like the good fairy.